Pokemon Go's rarest shiny Pokemon is coming back for a short time only, so you don't want to miss this event. In this video, we'll talk about the event details and some major tips so you can take full advantage of this event. As always, timestamps are provided below. Detective Pikachu is coming back, dudes, and the shiny is the rarest. You do not want to miss this event. Detective Pikachu returns Thursday the 5th of October, 10 a.m. your local time, to Monday the 9th of October, 8 p.m. your local Local time. Wild encounters for the event. You will have Pikachu wearing its detective hat, Growlithe, Slowpoke will also be wearing a hat, Alolan Exeter, Magikarp, Zaitu, Belsum, Lotad, Chemeco, Bronzer, Ducklet, Cutiefly, and Fallinx. Field research encounters. You will be in with a chance during this event to get Sudowoodoo, Sneevy, or Rowlet, where two of them can be shiny and Rowlet cannot. A collection challenge. Take on the field research tasks to complete the Invent themed collection challenge. We don't know much about this yet, but I'd imagine it'll have something to do with Pikachu dudes. Event bonuses. Event bonuses are not that big for this event. It's two times XP for spinning Pokestops, and the trainers can enjoy surprise encounters when they take a snapshot with their buddy. Probably going to be either Detective Pikachu or Slowpoke wearing a hat. There will be a timed research. Now be careful, the timed research means it will last from the 5th to the 9th. So even if you've started it after the 9th at 8 p.m., if you don't have it done, it will just disappear. So do make sure to do it. They're normally quite easy and not super difficult. You'll have to help Professor Willow in this Pokemon of interest, which will probably be a Detective Pikachu, and it will start on the 5th. There will also be a new avatar pose in the shop, and it looks as well like we'll get a cool Pikachu Detective hat. I'll probably get this because because I'm totally in Pikachu 101%. Okay, dudes, now let's get into some tips and tricks that I think you must know for this event because there are a lot of things that you will need to take advantage of. Okay, so when the event starts on the 5th, you will still have Ryaku, Entei, and Tsukine in raids until the 6th. And you will also have Mega Gardevoir as well. But on the 6th, they will be replaced by Guzzlord taking up five-star raids and Mega Gengar taking up Mega Raids. Let's go through some PvP tips for this event. We're gonna take a look at the wild spawns and we're gonna take a look at the raids, see how useful they are and what Pokemon that you should focus on. First of all, wild spawns. Magikarp evolves into Gyarados, which has play in both the Ultra and Master League. The Master League, of course, will be where it's best suited, placing 16th in its shadow form and 29th in its regular form. You will need to have the move set Dragon bread Aqua Tail and Crunch, where Aqua Tail will require an elite TM. Slowpoke has evolutions, Galarian Slowbro and regular Slowbro, which have big play in the Psychic Up, especially this year, and the Psychic Up did just go. But it's gonna be useful to have these Pokemon in case it comes around again. They were placing Galarian Slowbro was 11th with Poison Jab, Surf, and Sludge Bomb. Slowbro was placing 13th with Water Gun, Ice Beam, and Surf, and Slowbro Shadow was placing 14th with Water Gun, Ice Beam, and Surf. Surf there will require an Elite Charge TM. Bronzer's Evolution also has some play in the Psychic Cup, and with the move set below, it places 10th in the Psychic Cup. Raid PvP Pokemon, and as you can see, in raids right now, we've got Guzzy. Guzzlord, as mentioned, will be in raids for this event, and is a beast in all of the leagues. In the Great League, it places 27th. With the move set, Dragon Tail, Dragon Claw and Crunch. All of these moves do not require an elite charge TM. Guzzlog in the Ultra League places 26th with the same move set Dragon Tail, Dragon Claw, and Crunch. And Guzzlord in the Master League will place 96th with the move set Dragon Tail, Brutal Swing, and Dragon Claw. So be careful there that if you're using Guzzlord for the Master League, the move set is different. Its Hundo CP while rating will be 1650 non weather boosted and 2062 CP weather boosted. Guzzlord is a double weak to fairy. So Gardevoir was just in raids. I hope you did a lot of raiding because Shadow Gardevoir or Gardevoir in general general is going to be a key and crucial Pokemon for taking Guzzlord. Guzzlord can actually be defeated just 
by one person. So it's gonna be very easy to get Gold Lord. And the shiny is absolutely spectacular. So this is a Pokemon that you are going to want to be going after 100%. Gengar, obviously coming from Mega Gengar, is very useful in the Ultra League, ranking 87. Its Hondo CP will be 1644 non-weather boosted and 2055 weather boosted. This shiny for the Mega is absolutely awesome and you will need to grind this Mega in order to get Mega Energy to evolve your best Gengar. And you're not gonna regret it, it's just absolutely amazing. Metal tips. When you're outside, dude, obviously the biggest tip is to catch every single Pokemon that's out there. However, there are a few metals that are quite difficult to get. Dragon, Dark, Ice, and Metal. Luckily enough for us, Bronzer is spawning in the wild, so I would really focus on every single Bronzer you see. Make sure you're catching it. Now, it does like to run away a lot, so you will have to throw a berry and up your Pokeballs, but Bronzer is one that you're going to want to take advantage of right now because Ghost is coming for Halloween, so you'll be able to take advantage of that. Metal and Ice will be be coming for Christmas, so you'll be able to take advantage of that. Definitely get the metal medal in while you can. Dudes, drop berries. If you want to pick up some candies for Pokemon, you can use a golden raspberry, or you can use a silver raspberry, one giving you two times more, and one giving you 2.34 times more. I recommend just using the yellow raspberry here, and saving the silver ras for giving your buddy hearts just in one go instead of feeding your buddy three times with a pineapple berry. As a whole, in terms of bonuses for this event, it isn't great, so I wouldn't waste any eggs or star pieces. I would save it for something else, but the event is pretty cool because we do have the rarest shiny in the game coming back. Detective Pikachu, Guzzlord, brand new shiny, absolutely insane, and you can solo rate it, so if you're alone and you don't have any friends, just make sure you have your fairy types there and you're ready to go. And also Mega Gengar, I don't have a Mega Gengar, also one of the best shinies in the game, if not the best shiny in the game right now. Be sure to mega evolve Pokemon that you need for the Pokemon specific to you. So imagine if you want a lot of slow bro energy, you're gonna mega evolve a psychic type. If you want a lot of Gengar energy, you're gonna mega evolve a Gengar itself in order to get XL candies. Dudes, that is everything that you need to know for this event. Please let me know in the comments below how excited you are. And also let me know if you're watching during the event, if you caught that shiny Pikachu or not. Check this out. This is tips and tricks that you need to know on Pokemon Go right now, currently. And I'll talk to you in another video. Peace.